So this is our end goal for today, making a rose. Okay, so how to make a rose? We can start up by selecting the cube and delete it by pressing X and then delete. Then we can go to edit, preferences, and search for extra curve objects. This will and check it because this will help you in the future. Then we can look upon this from the top by pressing the Z up here and then press Shift A, curve, and choose point like so. Then we go over here to the left and choose draw. Let us now draw the petals uh, seen from above. So we can just draw like so. Next one a bit from the other one and continue like this. Like so. And we can press tab to exit edit mode. And we can right click and choose convert to mesh. And we press tab again. And now we can see that this is a mesh and it's editable. But it's uh, is a lot of vertices all over the place. So we want to change this. And we can solve this by pressing A to select everything, then M to merge by distance. And we have this menu, and here we can change the number until we find a number that suits us. So uh, not 0.1, maybe 0.5. And you can see we deleted 436 vertices, and I think this will be good. So let's just apply that. Great. Okay, now we can press A to select all of the vertices. Great. And we can rotate the screen. And then now we can press E to extrude and press Z to extrude them downwards, like so. And I also want to rotate them a little bit. So let's press R to rotate. And I only want to rotate it in Z axis, like so. Great. Let's do this again. E and Z to extrude them. And then R and Z to rotate them, like so. And one last time, E, and Z, and R, and Z. Now I want to um, start to shape this a little more, and we want to do this by help of proportional editing. So let's check this one. And while we still have all of the button selected, we can now press S, and scale this down, and we can scroll the mouse wheel, you can see how it's starting to affect more of the flower. Like so. Great. And now I also want to uh, select the inner petals. Like so. And we can take them and press G and set and drag them upwards. Like so. Great. Uh, there is still a lot to do, but it's really, really blocky. So we can start out by pressing the right mouse button and choose Shade Out of Smooth. And then we can also add a Go to Modifiers and we can add a Subdivision Modifier. This one, and already it looks much better, but let us continue to work at it. Let's select this corner. Then we can go to select, select similar, and let's choose amount of connecting edges. So choose this one and we get all the corners, but we also get all the corners in the bottom. We don't want that, so we can press control and drag by selecting the left, left mouse button like so. And now we only have the top ones and we can edge slide them by pressing GG. Let's drag them down and you can see we get a little nicer corners like this. So much rounder corner. And now we just want to continue to shape this one. So we can, I want, so I want to select the most center leaves like so, and we can scale them inwards to get tighter in the center. Great. And now we can just starting to Select some parts like so. Then we can just press G and drag it down, down. Too much. And just shape this to your liking. 
And what I also like to do is to take some in the middle and uh, TG slide them down so we get some more or organic shapes like so. It looks like there are some kind of folds and so in the flower and I think that looks good. And I also want the outer petals to be wider. So you shape it, so you shape it something like this. And we can just give it a quick material. Like so. But uh, what we also see now is that there is no thickness to the petals, so we need to change this. So let's go to modifiers and add a solidify modifier, this one. And if you now drag it up, you can see it gets really thick and we just want really thin, just so we get this highlight from the uh, edges, like so. And we can choose even thickness. Great. And the last thing we can do is just go to this world color. We can just go with the sky texture. And we can go up here to the eve and activate ray tracing. You can look upon it with another shading mode. So something like this. And if you add more leaves and work more on it, it will look even more realistic. But this is how you make a quick rose. Thanks for watching, and if you like stuff like this, please like and subscribe. Bye.